Hey everyone, this is Tom from Vermi Bag. As it's getting closer to springtime now, I'm going to start sifting some more castings and uh, making it ready for the garden. Uh, this is uh, one of the 45 pound tubs I got out of one side of my Vermi Bag mammoth I harvested probably a month and a half or so ago. I've had the material sitting there, it was just a little bit wetter than I wanted. So I, I may, I've been mixing it up, breaking up the clumps and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and sift it real fast. And this is a sifter I made. Uh, I have a video of how to make this. Uh, it's pretty detailed, so it's real simple. And it sits right on a mortar tray, so it's really nice to use. It just slides. So I'll put a link to uh, the video that shows you how to make this in the description below. So I'll set the tripod up, and I'm just going to quickly go through uh, sifting this 45 pounds of material. Anything that's... Uh, clumps and lumps and worms and stuff I'm just going to throw into this tray here and then I'll throw it back into one of the other bins. So I'm going to do this fairly quickly. I'm just going to fill up this little tub every time, dump it in here and sift through it. What's really nice about this uh, wooden sifter is it, it slides so easy. It's almost effortless. What I do is I, once I sift it like that, I kind of run my hands over trying to break up any clumps. Once I get to a point like that where I have that type of material, I just dump it into another mortar tray and go to the next one. Uh, some worms will drop through on this, a lot of them will stay, but I'm not getting too picky. But I'll show you how fast this will go through. 45 pounds of castings. And again, I've been going through this material uh, and you know, breaking the clumps up. I just quickly go through. I mix it up pretty good. Anything big clumps, I bust them into smaller pieces. And it's been sitting about a, a month and a half, I think. I'm not sure on the exact date I did that, but it's been a while because again, when I harvested that mammoth, it was a little bit wetter than I wanted. So, just give it a little bit of time, and then it'll dry out enough that it'll sift real simple like this. And again, I mean, this is 45 pounds, and I bet that's not going to take me five minutes to sift it all. So that's it. It didn't take very long. Uh, we'll zoom in here a little bit. Now, it's hard to describe, I mean, how nice this material is. I mean, anybody that's done uh, sifted castings before can understand it, but to me, the, the best analogy to it is it feels like uh, wool, like sand made out of wool or soil made out of wool, because it's nice and soft. But uh, so 45 pounds of castings sifted through this handy dandy little sifter that sits on a mortar tray and it took me less than five minutes. Let me get a tape measure and I'll show you the size of this material on here. So the length of each one of these diamonds is right at a quarter of an inch. But the width of the diamond is about three-eighths of an inch and it's an angle so this is a diamond uh, shape material we have it over here I don't know if you can find it uh, at Brico or I mean excuse me at Home Depot or Lowe's uh, I've seen some on Amazon some sheets uh, for they're like for hobby type stuff they come in sheets it look pretty similar but you know, it's a, it's a medium size uh, opening. So if you get something like that, just follow the directions I have for making this. And 
and uh, like I said, it, 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 it slides so easily on this, it makes sifting castings almost effortless. That's all for today. This is Tom from Birmingham Bank. Till next time, ciao.